Jensen with MotionVFX.com. Today we are talking about M product. Now on to the tutorial. Once you have installed M product via M installer, it can be located in your titles as well as your transitions and your effects. So here in our timeline, we have several different shots that we got for this tutorial. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and start off with our titles because a majority of this plugin is going to live in the end product section here of our titles. So you can see here we have different call to actions. To get a real time preview, simply scrub over with your cursor and you will see how that is going to look there in your canvas. We continue down and we have multiple infographics. So this would be really good if you were doing any sort of a review or anything like that, or if you were trying to promote something and show some of these infographics, these are really great for that. We have multiple different logos in this logo section. We've got sponsors there. We've got just a logo that can come in and go out that works with this style. We have placeholders, as you can see here. And then at the bottom, we have typography, which I really love the different typography presets in this plugin. It's pretty amazing. So why don't we start off with some of our typography. So here at the beginning, if we want to just click and drag, this is how you will apply this title. We can go ahead and trim this back for our first clip. Let's highlight the title. And then over in our canvas, we have on-screen controls for position, scale, and rotation. So let's say that we wanted to position this text to be a little bit clearer on our shot. We can just bring that down and then maybe scale it down a bit. And there we go. And then over in our inspector, we have animations in and out. We have all of our position, rotation, scale, and opacity sections here. And then we have our header, and this is going to be this top section of text there that we can toggle on and off. If you wanted to move the position independently from everything else, you would do so here in the header position. And then we can make changes to our text beneath, along with fonts and all of that information. And then we have our title that we can again toggle on and off. We have title position if you wanted to move that independently and you can make changes beneath there as well. And then we have our subtitle in which we can toggle on and off and then make changes to the position if we would like and then our text. If you would like to make changes to the circle, toggle that on and off. Of course, you can change the opacity if you would like the position as well. And you can turn your arrow on and off, or if you would like to rotate that arrow, let's say we're pointing at something specific, you will just click this arrow rotation, slide up and down, and you can change that arrow. All right, so let's say that we have this, we've got that animating in, and then it's gonna animate out, and we want to go into our next section here. This is a great opportunity to use the transition. So let's go back to the M product transitions. Again, if we scroll over, you can see we get a real time preview of how that is going to look. All of these are really cool. In the intro, we used transition number five. You can see how it just kind of stacks up and then moves out of the way. Really nice. So I'm going to click transition five and just drag it in between my two clips here. And you can see how that is working. So it is bringing in that section, that masked section, and then it just slides over. Now, if you'll notice, I would like to trim the top and bottom of that mask so with that transition highlighted over in my inspector you can see transition to element scale and then element size so i'm actually going to just scale that up a little bit and that has trimmed that white out and of course we can change the size here as well 
but I really like using this scale slider. It just is a little bit easier. And then you also have elements pan. So if we wanted to move those speakers across, then we can do so here. I actually like it set to zero because it looks as though we've just got one speaker popping in. So we've got our text going out and then we have our transition boom into our next spot. And then we shot this on a Lazy Susan with a white background and a black background. So I just had a little quick jump cut here. And then we can immediately go into something else. So why don't we take a look at our effects now for M product. You see here we have a multi grid. So let's highlight our clip so we can see how it's going to affect it. So you can scroll over, make sure your clip is highlighted if you want to get that real time preview. And then we also have split screen and it's just going to slide that over if you would like. I want to go over something really quickly in this clip. We do actually have this video cropped just a bit. We're scaled in if you'll notice right here. So the effect is going to take that into account. So we are going to use the on screen controls here in just a second to get that text back in the bottom of this effect. So to apply this simply click and drag onto your clip. And now we can see that we are going to have that jump cut and then boom, it kind of slides it over. Over in our canvas, we do have some on-screen controls. So we have on-screen controls for this section here, which is going to tighten up that mask. And then it also introduces the option for some text here in the bottom. And then we also have our left to right. So we can move that mask how we see fit. We also have this on screen control here. Now all this is going to do is snap into whichever side of this grid that we have going on in our split screen. Over in our inspector, you can see that we do have the split screen orientation set to vertical. There is a horizontal option as well. And it is going to do the same thing with your on screen controls. If we would like to add a line, simply toggle on our line and we can change the line width if we would like here. And then we have all of the additional parameters beneath along with our title in which we can toggle on and off or we can change to any position we want on the screen. So you can see that. Really nice. And as always, you can, if you need to, just go ahead and pick that text up and move it about wherever you would like. Or you can use the title offset section here right above your title. So why don't we take a look at some more of this? So again, we've got call to actions. We've got price tags. We've really got a lot going on here. I think that this would be a really good option to bring in some of our infographics because we do have all of that space. So why don't we just grab any of these lists we will do. Let's uh, pick up list number five and we will just drag that in on top. Go ahead and make sure that that is going to work well with our animation. So I'm actually going to drag this list back a bit so that it will start once that animation has started. Boom, there we go. And with list five highlighted, we do have on-screen controls for position, scale, rotation. Over in our inspector, all of the normal goodies with animation in and out, position, rotation, scale. Then we have our header and all of the adjustable parameters within that text, as well as our title and our list here. And then we get down to our points that we can toggle again on and off. And this is really cool. So we've got points and numbers. You can go all the way up to 15 if you would like, point scale, etc. But then we also have all of these different point modes that we can have active or disabled. So you can see here that we have point two disabled, but if you just simply click active, then there you go. So you are able to activate or disable those as needed. Let's say maybe you have information that's taking up two lines. So you could disable that if you would like to do so. All right. And then why won't we just do another transition? Because why not? Transitions are fun. So we have M product selected. This is our clip. 
We've got multiple transitions here. So why don't we do this really nifty transition number two out so we can just drag that in between and we're just going to transition out boom along with our text and there's our clip really nice and we can take a look at some more of these so here why don't we just look at our typography again we've got multiple different typography presets that work really well I think that this new way title number two could look really cool so we'll drag it on top and actually I want it to kind of start while that transition's happening because that is something that you'll notice works really well with this plugin that if you have that animating along with your transitions you can get some really cool looks so we've got that transition going and then boom there it is happening Awesome. So with that selected, position, scale, and rotation, of course, as always, with most Motion VFX plugins, and then all of the adjustable parameters beneath. And then we could have that just kind of going out, and then we're going into this next section here, which I really loved. And on this next section, we used the border, which is really, really neat. So I'm just going to drag that on top. And let's go ahead and just adjust the border there. So you can see we've got our title and then boom, we go into the next clip and we have that border shrinking that down. So with the border selected, we have on-screen controls. Now this is gonna have two on-screen controls independent of each other so i do want you to notice that we've got the on-screen controls for position scale rotation for our text and then we also have on-screen controls that is just going to be the scale of that mask of the content beneath so just keep that in mind i'm going to just center that back up because i think it looks really cool and then let's go check out our adjustable parameters here so we have our typography and the title and then we have the title clone that you see beneath so anything that you set in here in your title text is going to just be essentially reflected down at the bottom so let's say just say we're calling this cool new speakers for now you can see there is a clone down beneath that is reflected to the top section and then as we continue down really quite simple all of our adjustable parameters beneath if you wanted to fill that you click this title fill button but that's great and then it just animates right back out and again we could do another transition here if we would like while that is animating out that could look really cool so we've got transition three, we've still got, we've got transition two, and we've got transition one that we haven't used yet. And we also have transition four. I think transition four kind of works well. So we can drag this in between. Now notice that this one is uh, quite small. That is because there is not enough information on both sides of these clips. So I'm gonna do something that I don't do very often in tutorials, but a little additional information for you. If you double click on any transition, you will open up the precision editor, and then you can see how much area of the clip that you have on either side. So if you needed more area, you can slide this down on your precision editor and then you adjust the duration here and now your clip can last a little longer. Double click again and now we have a longer transition there. So you can see there's a lot going on. So why don't I just pull this back a little bit on our title and then it's like boom that goes out and then it goes right into the next transition. Super, super cool.
All right, so we're gonna do one more. I wanted to show you really quickly in our price tag, specifically price tag number two. This is pretty cool here. So I'm just going to drag that in on top of the next clip. And then of course we have the on-screen controls for position scale rotation and all of the adjustable parameters beneath. But then you can see this barcode here. So we have the option for the code. We can toggle it on and off, or we can have code type or we can change to drop zone. Now this is really cool if you wanted to do something like a QR code. So why don't we go over to our imported footage here and with the title selected, we can go over to our drop zone, click the drop zone, find the QR code, click and then apply clip. Then we can make changes here as well. So we've got the code position, but this is also going to be for the drop zone as well. And then we have the drop zone inside scale. So we can bring that down just a bit to make sure we get all of the corners necessary. And then if we wanted to scale that up, we would be able to do so here. And if we wanted to move that position, like I said, just a little bit more, you can do so there. But now we have an actual QR code so that if someone were watching this video somewhere and they were interested in the product, they could just simply scan and it's gonna take them directly to wherever that QR code points. All right, and that is about it. Thank you again for checking out the M product tutorial. M product is now available on motionvfx.com. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.